So when they get to the Polyjuice Potion page, they see illustrations of people who are like in the process of transforming themselves. These people looked like the process was painful. Hey guys! I am Charlotte the Starlet. These are my girls, Angel and Glitter, and this is my little boy, Sam. Right, today we are finally getting back to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. I'm sorry it's taken a while to get back to it, but if you're still tuning into these videos, thank you. In short, I had to go back to the hospital. Like, I literally came out yesterday, but... I bet you guys are sick of hearing about it, I'm sorry. Anyway, since I am a mystery slash thriller writer, I don't just react, I review. And the way I do it is simple. If I like something, I add a point starting from the last video's total. And if I don't, I take one off. Right, let's jump in. So Harry drops his bag, gets on his hands and knees, and begins crawling around looking for clues. Oh my god, he actually finds something. On the floor there are scorch marks and they find at least 20 spiders practically fighting to get to a small crack through the window's glass. While they're doing their homework, they're still pondering over who the the Chamber of Secrets air could be. Ron and Hermione's first assumption is that it's Draco. Right, so the chapter starts off describing how Professor Lockhart hasn't had any more live creatures in his lesson ever since the little pixie lesson. Instead, he's chosen to just read passages from his books to the class. Oh god, and he even reenacts the more dramatic bit. That is so cringe. Oh my days. And he even gets students to participate in these reenactments. And usually, he chooses Harry. Harry's roles have included a simple Transylvanian villager who Lockhart had cured of the babbling curse. Then he had to play a yeti with a head cold and a vampire who'd been unable to eat anything but lettuce since Lockhart had dealt with it. Like, that's cringy even to think about. Imagine being there or having to participate in these lessons. And now, Harry has to play a werewolf. And it says Harry hadn't had a very good reason to keep Lockhart in a good mood, he would have refused. Which is brave. Honestly, this is how Lockhart has been teaching. Nice loud howl, Harry, exactly. Then, if you'll believe it, I pounced like this. Slammed him to the floor, thus, with one hand, I managed to hold him down. With my other, I put my one to his throat, and then screwed up my remaining strength and performed the immensely complex homorphous charm. He let out a piteous moan. Go on, Harry. Higher than that, good. The fur vanished, the fang shrank, and he turned it back into a man. <laughs> oh my days. That was the worst. I'm, I feel so bad for Harry. That's just plain humiliating. No way. Okay, so when the lesson is over, Lockhart tells the class that their homework is to write a poem about Lockhart's defeat of the Wagga Wagga Werewolf. <laughs> and apparently the best one will get a signed copy of Magical Me. What an incentive. Anyway, so Harry, Ron and Hermione wait till all the other students have gone. Then they go up to Lockhart and let Hermione turn on the charm. She tells him 
that she wants to take out a book from the restricted section of the library so that she can understand one of his books better. And then she takes out the permission slip that they need in order to get the book out of the restricted section. This, this obviously isn't just for a bit of light background reading though. This is an excuse so they can get the polyjuice potion recipe. Oh, and of course it works. When Hermione strokes his ego by telling him how clever he was to trap a goblin with a tea strainer in gadding with ghouls, Lockhart signs it immediately. Oh my days. So as, as Lockhart is signing it, Ron makes a disgusted face at the quill he uses, which is like a giant peacock quill, but Lockhart misreads it as an impressed face. Are you kidding me? He's like, yeah, nice, isn't it? <laughs> Gosh, he is so in his head all the time like actually delusional so after Lockhart gives the slip back to Hermione he, he just randomly strikes up a conversation with Harry about the, the Quidditch game the next day except yet again he finds a way to make it all about him he, he tells Harry that he used to be a seeker as well and he even got like scouted for the national squad I guess which I'm assuming is like that NFL or the NBA except would it? But then he tells Harry that he decided to dedicate his life to defending the dark arts instead. Are you kidding me? Then at the end he gives Harry a backhanded compliment. He, he offers Harry private Quidditch lessons and says that he's always happy to help out less able players. Um... He's not disabled like me. <laughs> like Harry's a great seeker on his own. <laughs> oh my gosh. Harry doesn't even say anything back. He just leaves with Ron and Hermione. I probably would too. Anyway, the three of them head to the library to get out the book. <laughs> Bruh, I love how JK Rowling like roasts her characters with some of the with some of these descriptions because she describes Madame Pince, the librarian, as a thin, irritable woman who looked like an underfed vulture. <laughs> like, damn! But they give the permission slip to her even though Hermione was reluctant just because it had Lockhart's autograph. But yeah, even though Madame Pince is clearly suspicious about it. She can't find anything that's technically wrong about it. So she goes and gets them the book, Most Potent Potion, Earth, which is apparently a large moldy looking book. Jeez, how long has it been in this library? All right. So after they get the book, they head to Moaning Muddle's bathroom and take a look at it. When they do, they quickly learn just why this book is in the restricted section. Apparently some of the potions cause effects too gruesome to think about or mention seemingly considering that JK Rowling doesn't actually write these descriptions. We're just told that it's gruesome. Oh my days, there are pictures too. At least we get a description of those. There's one of a man whose body looks like it's been turned inside out. And then there's another one of a woman who had several pairs of arms sprouting from her head. Oh, finally. So when they get to the Polyjuice Potion page, they see illustrations of people who are like in the process of transforming themselves. These people looked like the process was painful. Damn, then Hermione says that this is the most complex potion she's ever seen. They are 12 year old students though. They need stuff like lacewing flies, leeches, fluxweed and knotgrass. The heck? Those are just the easy ingredients? The harder to find ingredients are the powdered horn of a bicorn, 
like what the heck is that by the way and shredded skin of a boom slang oh of a boom slang <laughs> oh then they've got to get a bit of whoever they want to change into like 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 what a fingernail same ron he's literally like excuse me <laughs> me too <laughs> oh my days one is like i'm drinking nothing with crab's toenail in it oh harry's having second thoughts the thought of how much they're gonna have to steal is making him nervous and he says to hermione that he's not sure if this is a good idea anymore and for some reason that actually really upsets hermione like it says she snaps the book shut and had bright pink patches on her cheeks and her eyes look brighter than usual which i am assuming means that she is about to cry oh okay so she says so she's like i don't want to break rules you know and i think threatening muggle bonds is way worse than brewing a difficult potion but if you don't want to find out if Slytherin's heir is Malfoy, I'll go right back to Madame Pince and hand in this book now. Damn, Hermione. That's kind of bad hat. I do get her point now, though. Like, it is kind of unfair to, like, make your friends go along with something bad or risky and then just kind of, like, flake out on them. In certain situations, at least like th this is relatively harmless and this is also for a good cause but if 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 someone were to like ask you to go along and commit a crime with them then yeah it's probably best if you back out i know right ron like <laughs> ron says he never thought he'd see the day that hermione would persuade them to break the rule wow so that little runt does the trick and harry and ron decide to go through with this anyway so then harry asks how long it will take to brew this potion and since the fluxweed needs to be picked at a full moon for some reason and also because the lace wings have got to be stewed for 21 days it's gonna take about a month i'm i'm assuming this is one of those things where you have to trust the process anyway that is where i'm gonna leave it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give the like button and the notification bell a little kiss and subscribe to become a starlet don't forget to follow me on snapchat Twitter, instagram and tumblr and also join my patreon for extra videos more adult videos <laughs> you'll get a shout out in these videos and you'll also get a chance to win a giveaway. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.